How's it going guys? Universe, back again with another video, and uh, we're back here on the F-16C, as the dev server is now back open again until the 15th, which honestly I'm kind of disappointed because I would love to see the, the, the live server be updated for the major patch. Um, but we're here checking out the AIM-9M. I actually didn't get to do an AIM-9M video because I was too late. I forgot that the, 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 the dev server isn't open forever. Like, it actually has a timer. I kind of forgot about that. And so when I went to log into the dev server, uh, I made a post about it ironically too. I was like, oh, I'm going to log into the dev server and get one final video out. And then I had to delete it because right as I went to log in, it told me that the server was closed. And I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Um, but with the new uh, dev server update that's coming out, uh, the AIM-9M now has a smokeless engine, but the AIM-9M was also hugely nerfed. It's IRCCM, I think that's what it is, is absolutely trash now. That thing literally cannot, uh, cannot track at all. It's so flare hungry. Now, maybe, uh, maybe granted, I, I just had a skill issue and I just had really bad angles, but it was really weird because I was seeing other people firing off the AIM-9M and it was absolutely just dominating and it was unflareable so I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know if it's the distance the angles or whatever but I'm I, I was just lobbing these missiles out and it was honestly really strange because I was firing off the missile and I wouldn't seeing a smoke trail like it was just leaving my aircraft and I was just it, it was so confusing to me and I think honestly it's going to be really difficult for me to adjust to this because I, I I'm just not used to this I'm not used to this at all it's just so weird seeing there be no smoke when I fire off a missile. It just, it's so, it doesn't make any sense. Like, imagine an R27ER being fired off, and you can't see the smoke. Like, that, that's just so weird. Like, it, it doesn't even feel like you fired off a missile, like, you missed. And, like, <laughs> you need to retry again. And, obviously, I haven't played in a couple of days, been waiting uh, for the update to come out. But, obviously, since the dev server got updated, that also means that the live server update is being pushed back. So we should expect that update within next week, if we're lucky, maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. But at that rate, I don't even know if I'm wanting to wait. I want this update now. And and remembering last major update, I don't know if you guys remember it, but that update literally got pushed back like a month. It was awful. Like, I took time off from my own job because I was like, oh, it's going to come out this week 100%. And then it never did. And it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. It sucked. It was one of the worst things ever. And I think everyone can agree with that it was absolutely awful so i'm really hoping they don't do this uh with this update but the f-16 also got some really cool skins but man oh man can i tell you guys i absolutely love the f-16 it is absolutely so amazing like being able to pull 13 g's uh when you're going mach 1 is such a weird thing because the f-16 could not even try to do that even if it bothered but with the new airframe as well too this also means a little bit of a skill issue here I was only going about 360 kmh there. I went to do a 180 and, you know, spin like a fidget spinner, which I could usually do on the live server, but when I did it there, I completely tumbled and killed my pilot. <laughs> Absolutely crushed him. He will never see his family again. I'm an idiot, all right? I didn't think that was actually going to kill my pilot. Um, but there's just a whole lot of learning that's got to get done. Now, honestly, I'm terrified, but I'm also excited at the exact same time because as more updates come, we are closer and closer to the future of top tier. I don't know if you guys seen it. Defines video. Absolutely. Like, it, honestly, it was, it was a great video. You guys should watch it. It's on the future of top tier. Where he pretty much displays that, you know, the IR missiles are impossible to dodge. Uh, so the only thing you can do is just lob out AMRAMs. And, and pretty much SAR missiles. And just absolutely lob them from the middle of fucking nowhere. Hundreds of kilometers. And, you know, obviously, I don't know, that's an exaggeration. But... This stuff's absolutely crazy. That's actually terrifying. Because I I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of excited for it, but I'm also like, that just sounds so awful. I enjoy the experience of being close up and having to stay aware. And now you don't really have to stay aware because you're so far away. So, I'm honestly, I kind of don't want the AMRAM to come, but I also want to see the game progress. So, I guess it'll be in Gaijin's hand to whatever happens. Uh, we also got this map, which was absolutely awful. It was just pure fog. You couldn't see anything. But I also thought this was kind of a good test because I wanted to see how the IR capabilities were for the AIM-9M. And uh, yeah, it didn't it didn't surprise me at all. It was actually amazing. It, it's absolutely dangerous. And honestly, I actually don't even know what it looks like when you get an AIM-9M fired on you. Do you not see a missile tracker? I would assume, I would assume you would because that would be absolutely busted. Nobody would play any other jet anymore. They would only play the jets that have AIM-9Ms because that would be absolutely stupid if you could just fire off an AIM-9M and no one can see it because it doesn't have, uh, you know, it doesn't have smoke <laughs> that would be absolutely bonkers that'd be so stupid 
But again, like I, like I said, just lobbing them off, I can't even see the missile, like, the trail. I can't even see it. It's so weird just seeing a missile fly off. It, it doesn't even feel real. It feels like, it's like some type of wizardry stuff. It doesn't feel like a real, <laughs> like, real life, like a real thing that was in real life. But it actually was. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. But like I said, you just got to get used to it. And honestly, I think I'm more excited for the F-16C uh, than I am the MiG-29. I, I genuinely think I am. With its airframe update, its missiles, uh, like literally, I genuinely think the F-16C and and every other F-16 will absolutely dominate the MiG-29s. But I do have a video coming on the MiG-29 again, hopefully soon. I mean, we'll see. I do want to touch on that and see pretty much what others are thinking on the MiG-29 and if it will continue to compete against the F-16s after its buff that is coming. I, I don't even know if the MiG-29 will be able to compete against the F-16. And, and I don't even mean just the C. I mean, like, the Nets, the Barak. Like, yes, the Barak is one of the worst F-16s with the worst airframe, but even at that, in the dev server, you could absolutely dominate dogfights uh, against MiG-29s because all you had was this way better rate fighting capabilities. And uh, <laughs> you turned, like, uh, like I was pulling in the nets. I was pulling 14 Gs in a 1,000 kmh rate fight. 14 Gs, and I was maintaining 1,000 kmh. It, like, it's absolutely stupid broken. And I honestly, I don't think the MiG-29 is going to be able to compete. It's going to be absolutely, it's going to have to be incredible. It's going to have the best thing you're, you're going to ever see. It's going to have to have six R-27ERs to be able to compete. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, I'm just joking. I would never want to see that in the game. That would be the worst thing ever. Not only because it wouldn't be that great. <laughs> but it also would be kind of stupid. You know what I mean? Just having R-27 ERs being absolutely lobbed out of nowhere, having 20 of them lobbed, you have to just stay low and just absolutely... You can't hit any bumps, because if you have any bumps, it's over. And you know what I mean? The, the missile's just going to splash on you, and you're, you're absolutely dead. But <laughs> as we can see in the gameplay here, this is the last game. Two MiG-29s. I'm going to use my AIM-9Ns. I get one off, and the guy can't see it. I'm going to use the second one here. I'm able to see him. But I don't know if he sees me or not. I fire off another AIM-9M, but it, it goes out to nothing. I don't know why. Then I fire off the second one. He flares, and the missile still tracks. But I can't even see the missile at this point. I don't, I don't know if he can either. But it dodges, and then I fire off one more. He's not able to dodge it. And he's dead. He's out of the match. <laughs> like I, I think if he couldn't see it, that'd be absolutely stupid. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.